Alexander says, I wonder if someone could help me. We're using Skype for business on-prem. Uh, and some of our customers are complaining about joining meetings. Sometimes it takes several minutes to let you join a meeting. Have you ever experienced something like this? We can't really see anything on the Skype for business server. Could it be related to the hardware itself? For example, drivers. Thanks in advance. Drivers? Not likely. No. Things Skype like on that. prem. Yeah, well, there is that. There is that. Why? I mean, it expired it's back a, in 2021, didn't it? Yes, How? it's like ancient technology. It's been replaced <laughs> by Teams. Don't know how many years ago, but yeah, it's, it's not supported like, anymore. Which it's not in supported. Its turn becomes dangerous. I mean, exactly. As an as an organization, like yeah. Well, I, so the uh, so I like that the uh, it could be related to the hardware itself. For example drivers on the hardware not the hardware related drivers but updates on the software definitely could be related yeah. to that the fact that yeah. it's not supported and there are other no drivers and other updates to the operating system again as christy and i have both pointed out it is no longer supported so mm -hmm. whether if something else interferes with it changes it modifies it slows it down you don't have any recourse on the subject yeah. It's, 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 it's gone. It's just sitting there. Yeah, you can still use it, but it's not supported. No it's consideration. Get is, worse, uh, exactly. Well. Yeah. Thank you, Christy. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. So it's time to, it's really time to untangle. I mean, I, I was um, recently working in an organization where <clears throat> Um, under underneath the military banner that still was requiring a lot of this sort of thing on premise because once they go certain places then whether it be underwater or whatever um, they they had to have it but it also comes down to things like how old are it, how old is it in terms of servers how old is it there's so many other factors that come into play that could be messing messing it up too um, there are still some use cases but there is other technologies that are more modern that you could still be using in and off on premise or um, modern way that would still support it that you need to go to and get off because it's it's really putting the business at risk or in, you know the fact that it's an on premise Skype means it's probably still a business. Um, I can't imagine there's no consumers that would still be doing something like that. It's a uh, you know no. <laughs> so it's been started, long started, gone. Well, we'll say that. Um, so to to be accurate here, uh, Skype for Business Server 2019. I've added the link there. Um, the mainstream support for it just ended in January, so it's not. Mm -hmm. I thought it was longer, you know, but January. But for those, there is the extended support date if you're paying for that from Microsoft is through October 14th, 2025. So it's for another mm. year and a couple months. Um, so, I mean, if there's problems with it, I don't know when you're in extended support date, I mean, it's not like there's new innovation and updates that are happening for it. Um, so uh, like, I, I always hate to send people to support and open a ticket around it. If there's something else, if one, if you are paying for the extended support, that's, the first thing then two like your only option unless there's vendors that are out there that are still doing some other outside support i mean a quick scan um like the last time we had a question around skype but went and scanned got pretty much the same answer is that there's not a lot of people that are still doing business around that that they'll they'll convince you try to convince you to migrate over to the cloud and to the teams platform um, but again, I would say go to Microsoft support if it's to find out if there's something and if they possibly have a, a fix. Uh, the other thing is I, I, I could do a much more in-depth search and go and find if there's any, sometimes there is like an open source initiative that someone in the community is creating patches and fixes for known problems and things around that. Um, I'm sure that there is a Skype for business server 2019 page or discord community or something where people are kind of sharing things around that but yeah github would be a place to look yeah, to github 
go and look. Definitely, because that's yeah. it's huge. It's a mess, but. If there's anybody doing anything with it, that's at least some place where you're likely to find something. GitHub or Microsoft tech community. Yeah, I mean, again, I like I can go sit here and do some Bing, Google searches um, to find answers uh, for for this. But um, but but honestly, like I, I I went looking, didn't find anything specific, um, and I'm not going to go dig in and find the community pieces for this but i would go to the community first if you can find stuff ask people um, there's a lot of uh, on the the telephony communication side of teams mvps that you can reach out to that used to work in this space so even if you find an mvp with an article that's out that's outdated reach out to those mvps they may have some other answers for you and also try to convince you to move to <laughs> the, the newer newer technology um exactly and then open a ticket if you have the support that's the point if you've got if you are on extended support you're paying them for the ability to make that ticket that's yeah. what it's there for yeah that's why you're paying and you're not if you're not on extended support that you're paying for then you need to move yeah, you're, you're yeah. on an unsupported platform. Yes, it's mm -hmm. going to have problems. And and of course, beyond that, if you're talking customers, external customers, once you've again, you've got the standard things like like uh, like network latency and the number of hops, whatever it takes to get from where they are to where you are. It there's everything beyond the firewall at your organization can be suspect. <laughs>